One. Open. Sims 4 Studio. Click Override. Press Object. Select Show Debug Items. Click the Sim. Press Next. Save it in your Sims 4 Studio Mods folder. Find that in the description. Call it something. Two. Click Rig slash Lots. Select the head join. Press Copy. Scroll down and find it. And call it something. We'll parent this to the head. To move the joint forward and backward, tweak the Z axis. To move the joint upwards and downward, tweak the X axis. If you need more joints, click copy on the joint you made and call it something. We'll parent this one to the one we copied it from. Now press save and shut down Sims 4 Studio. Copy your new rig into your Sims 4 mods folder. Three. Reopen Sims 4 Studio. Select create 3D mesh. Press cast. Now find the hair you wanted to animate or import your own. Save it in your Sims 4 mods folder and call it something. Go to the mesh tab and export mesh. Save it somewhere. Call Call it something. Oh. Open the blender file. Click the eyeball on the rig. Oh, now we can see it. Locate the mesh you want to add the rig to. For me, it's mesh number two. Locate the bones you made by clicking on the hierarchy. Oh, it's a long way down, isn't it? Double click the first join and copy the name. Click on your mesh. Click this button. Press the plus button. Double click the new vertex group. Paste in your name. Do it for all the bones you created. Select your first bone. Go to to weight paint mode. Click this button. Paint the weight. Do this for all the bones you made. Pick a joint. Press R for the rotate tool and Whee. test it. Save your work and re-import it on every level. Bye. Go back to the front page of Sims 4 Studio. Click clip pad. Select animation. Save it on the desktop. Call it something. Click clips. EA clip. Press export. Search for the animation you want to replace. I'm going for snooty. Click export. Save Save it somewhere. Six. Open the blender file. Oh, there's our bone. Type in the name of your bone in the search bar. There it is. Select a joint at the start of the timeline. Press R and rotate the joint. Press I. Select rotation. Best made a keyframe. We're going to move the timeline to 24. And we're going to press I. Select rotation. Click this red button somewhere in the middle and rotate it the other way. Press play. Ooh. If you want to see what it looks like on your mesh. Bonus. Seven. Open your hair mesh blender file. Go to file. A pen. Click your animation blender file. Select action. Click the file that's in there. Select pose in the outliner. Click on this clock. Select dope sheet. Change dope sheet to action editor. Click this button and select the animation. Oh, so that's what it looks like. Now on to number eight. Back in. Sims for a studio. Select override. Click animation. Search for the same animation you use. Remember mine was. Suki. No. Snooty. Save it in your Sims 4 mods folder. Call it something. Go to warehouse. Select clip. Copy the instance. Go to tools. Game file cruiser. Paste in your instance. Select clip and clip header. Highlight them both and click add to current package. Press save. Go to the main menu. Now reopen your override file. Go to studio. Select import. Import your updated animated blender file. Press save. Now test it. Oh yes. Rock that thing. Strut that stuff honey. Well well look at you. You're a bona fide modder now. Is there something in Sims 4 Studio you want to know how to do? Leave a comment down below. For more pixie tips don't forget to subscribe.